there in Texas, the most unbelievable thing ever is presenting a shot. This is gonna be an epic bow hunt, bow hunt. I thought we were going to the bar. Dude, you got sandals on. Stay here. Stay right here. I'm here. Shh, dude. Slow your roll, bro. here at the Black Rifle Coffee Content Ranch with the one and only John Dudley. So we're doing this total archery challenge and John was nice enough to come out and give us some instruction. Plus he's a great cook so that's really why I'm here. We've been talking about this forever. It's this exchange of knowledge, right? Where we got these great guys that have these incredible skills. They've operated in like this, like fractions of a percent. It's almost like a skill co-op if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's a perfect name for it. We're just gonna exchange some pretty cool skills and we're gonna do some pistol stuff this afternoon. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I tried taking it on the plane, but... They didn't let you? No. That's weird. Seems weird, seems like they would. All right, risk it time. That smells amazing. Is that coffee rub on there too? Yeah, oh yeah. I can smell it. That's it's good. It's the freaking coffee it's organic. Mm -hmm. What? Dang. That coffee rub's unreal. Fresh me. Dudley doesn't mess around, folks. Oh, is that his brisket? Oh, cool. damn. Yeah, right? Well, it's almost as good as mine. That's like perfect. <laughs> 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 mm. that was good. Mm. This is how we do breakfast. Down here at Black Rifle, we've got a brisket. We covered this with some of the Black Rifle coffee, makes an awesome rub, and then put this in there at 225, cooked it until the internal temperature hit 160, put it in a foil pan, covered it all up, raised the heat to 275, waited until the brisket hit 204, pulled it, staged it in a Yeti for about an hour while we prepped eggs and the veggies, and here's how we roll. Thank you very much, Dudley, for breakfast. No joke, this is a phenomenal breakfast taco. Yeah, yeah. And the Jared's drinking in the morning already. Good. Yeah. Daddy's here. Oh, damn. I thought it was a guitar, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd take. I take heat from all you polars. Oh. But, I mean, it will be cool the fact that you'll at least get one shot off every seven that we do, but hey. Hold on, guys, I'm still cocking. Let me shoot one just out of curiosity. First. I, yes. Let me hold this one. Yes, sir. Put it on about for you. Okay, so guys, with these handheld releases, Pretty much think of them as brass knuckles. What I want you to do is take your hand, keep it flat, but work on only bending your fingers around. That's right where I'm gonna want this release to sit, is right in what I call the rack of the hand. With archery, obviously, when you pull a bow back, 
you don't want to feel really long one time and then short another. The other thing I want you to think about is when you're in that position, everyone got it? See how the release makes a separation between your index finger and your middle finger? What I want you to do is I want you to take your index finger and put it right on your jawline. Where that V is, essentially your arrow is gonna be in between that V. It's gonna allow this arrow to be between your lip and your chin. That's where we want it to be. So this anchor position is the most important thing for you to understand long before you try to acquire the site. But honestly, if you guys work on this for like 10 minutes, we'll be able to take it right over the oh, range. Sweet. After about an hour, we've got these guys doing some of the basic fundamentals. And right here is Brent's first time stretching this bow out at some longer distance shots. Couldn't be happier. Good Thanks shooting, dude. This, huh? Nobody touch you. Nobody's supposed to touch my mat, George. You know that, right? I just need you to know, like, nobody touches my mask. JT. Dave, I can't even look at it. <laughs> Don't look at Don't it, Dave. Look at my mask, Dave. <laughs> Don't. Don't touch my mask. Because <laughs> the donkeys can't breathe, right? They're sterile. So for pork butts, super easy. What you do is you take your pork butts or a Boston butt. This is unreal. Cuts of pork right here from Carter Country Meats. And all I did with that was put the rub on, put it in here at 225. I've smoked it for about four hours. We're gonna continue to let these cook at 375 until we get to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Once we get to 160, we're gonna put them in foil pans, wrap them up really tight, crank the heat just a little bit more, and go ahead and bring these butts up to a finish of about 204. I'm gonna pull them out, rest them in the Yeti, We'll be ready for lunchtime on these pork butts. Now, my turn to play. Get to shoot <laughs> some guns. I like that. All right, it's range time. I'm going to give John the once over the world with some STI pistols, we've got some Glocks out here. How much pistol shooting have you done? I would say I'm a noob at best. So today will be his first, your first formal block of training with the pistol ever. Ever. So yep. any success that you have on the range is going to be directly correlated to your instruction. Is or right? lack of success <laughs> will also be directly related to my instruction. The, the thing that I like to tell people in this is when you work through your shooter's checklist and you always like reset, right? Where you've talked about that a lot too, where you reset, it's always like, okay, stance. And then I always work from ground all the way through the body to the pistol. That's how I do it. My feet pointed in the direction of travel, knees slightly bent, hips pushed forward. Now I just add my arms to it. Arms are slightly bent, chin's just a little bit down. And now I'm like side picture, side alignment. And then only concentrate on your trigger squeeze. So when you're looking at your front sight post, you're only thinking slow, smooth, and you're thinking to yourself straight back, straight back, straight back. Surprise break, reacquire the same target you just shot at and shoot it again. So sight alignment, sight picture, trigger squeeze. Good. But that's a good group. Okay. It's a solid group. Especially for the first time of shooting this. Let's hit good. this. And let's see how fast this can run. 
right? Ah. We can run pretty fast. Yes. Stand by. Target. with the 27 round mag. <laughs> I knew that we were gonna go hand in hand and you are gonna have to reload, that's why I went and reloaded my big mag. But the low ready, I'm sure you shot that way. See what's come up here, pull up. Every shooting position that I use is just like the athletic, like, you know, there you go. Okay. Yep. That looks oh. a better pistol shot than me today. He did a look away on you too, bro. The gun did? Yeah. Dude, he shot like he just brought the gun down and he's gonna push away. Like he didn't want to see Matt. He didn't want to see Matt's failure. Woo. I'm scared. I don't want to Give that man a red dot and let him go to work. Oh, he's got a red dot. Nice. I got to aim off. Aim off the yeah, yeah. killed him, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, so. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So different hostage. No, no, no. Watch. I'll show you how to do it. You want to take it and shoot him right in the dick. <laughs> Evan's out. Evan. Bye. Thanks. Me and Matt will keep going. Who's you gonna blow up a unicorn? Like, is it is a level like this good? Don't look at me with such disgust. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm doing the like <laughs> famous binocular shot, yeah. like with the camera in front. Yeah, but I'm. You've already killed the yeah. animal. Yeah, I'm You're like, just doing B-roll right I'm now. I'm just for doing it. this. All right. Evan, Matt, I got him. <laughs> yes. Uh, nice shot, dude. Big boom. Oh, smoke. Holy I think how incredible it is to celebrate the time that we have together and I think it's also really important to plan things that we can do in the future where we can incorporate more veterans, more people out here, with great people. So thanks for everybody coming out. The only responsibility that we have is to have fun and be epic. So let's do it again. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Nice water, Mike. Yeah, Evan, man. Have a good day. Dude, well, right, Loby? Oh. You had to go in like that.